channel my name is Garavo and if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing if you are a retaining subscriber thank you so much for coming back I will try and speak slower because someone actually said that I speak very fast which is how I am but just so that you guys can be able to hear properly each and every word that I'll be saying I will try and be slow so as you saw from the title I will be thinking about the importance of reading the Bible we all have different reasons for finding it hard to read the Bible. Um, maybe it's because we are lazy, which is understandable. Maybe it's because you don't understand the scriptures. Or maybe because you feel sleepy. Or you just don't understand the Bible as a whole. You don't know the difference between the chapters and the verses. Understandably so, I also did not know that until I received the, I, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I started reading the Bible through the leading of the Holy Spirit. So um, I'll just try and make this short. The, the verse that I'm going to be quoting, uh, there's verses that I'll be quoting throughout, but um, the one that I want to base this video on, it's um, Joshua 1 verse 8. It reads, this book of the law, this book of the law, which is this, must not depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may act carefully according to all that is written in it For then you will make your way successful And you will be wise So it's very important for a Christian to read the Bible each and every day Day and night Well, not like day and night, but you have to read the Bible And when you meditate on it, you know now we'll see it's literally what you breathe like um, you know this, some of the scriptures by head, not all of them, we, we, we can't know all the scriptures. Okay, let me just tell you the script, the importance of reading the Bible. I wrote down the notes, um, obviously through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It's not much, but I hope that it will help you. So, one of the first importance of reading the Bible is you get to realize your identity. Before you come to Christ, you were a different person altogether. There was a life that you were living, a life that is contrary to God. So the moment you move towards God, you need to understand that not everyone is going to accept that, that you are a new creation to God. Um, your flesh will literally fight you. Um, and also you will be fighting the devil himself because um, you literally, you actually annoy him now because you're a child of God. That means that if you were, maybe let, let me just make an example, maybe if you were um, a person who was performing sexual immorality or who was doing idolatry or if you were cussing a lot or you were watching, it's still sexual immorality, watching pornography and um, masturbating and all of that. He will just bring those things that oh you are this person you are this person or people if if you were maybe a criminal before and now you are no longer a criminal people will still identify you as that and maybe you might feel like it's uh, not that maybe and may, maybe people if are still calling you a criminal even when you are no longer a criminal um, you can just easily block being offended through reading the word of the Bible because you get to realize that God loves you so much. God, um, you, you are so precious to him that more than jewels, um, you get to realize that you are of royal priesthood, you are a princess or a prince of heaven, you are God's anointed one, you are, you are an, an anointed one of God, you are the apple of God's eyes, you are, um, a chosen generation like you, you get to realize all of that that even when the enemy just comes and tries to say stop fooling yourself you are this person you can easily just say um, I'm not that person this is who God sees me through reading the word the Bible says in John 1 um, chap John chapter 1 verse 2 says yet to all who did receive him to those who believed in his name he gave the right to become children of God so you are now a child of God and you are living according to the, to the ways of God um, in Romans 8 verse 28 it says and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose um, John 15 verse 16 says you did not choose me God says you did not choose me 
but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that whatever you ask in my name, whatever you ask in the name of the Father, I will give you. That is Jesus speaking. How so? Sometimes you might be like, am I really worth living the life that I'm living now, the life that is full of goodness, the life that is full of peace and all of that? But just remember that God called you to him. He loved you and he called you to him. He didn't just wake up and say, I want to be a Christian. He didn't just wake up and say, I want to start realizing Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and my Master. God calls you. God chose you. Through the life that you were living, he said, that one is my anointed one and I want them to come and live to me. I hope you understand. And then the other thing is growth. You grow spiritually, you grow mentally, you become so matured in a way that you no longer confirm to the patterns of this world. You no longer entertain the quarrels that are happening in this world. You no longer entertain um, the discussions that have nothing to do with God. You know, um, you no longer just take them unto you, but you realize God. You, you grow to a certain point that even when someone comes and say, oh my God, I had an encounter with Jesus, or oh, I saw Jesus, you don't say, ah, no, man, no, 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 but you actually realize that the kingdom of God exists and it is true. You grow, I don't even know how to explain it. The Bible says that um, when you, 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 those who love Jesus acquire knowledge, so you, you become so knowledge, even in, in and, and that growth that you receive when you read the word of the Lord through God, obviously, from God rather, um, it reflects on each and every other thing that you are doing. Work, school, all of those things, like there's just this maturity, this discipline, this, you know, through the word of the Lord, it grows you. Um, Matthew 5 verse 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be sanctified through the word of the Lord, by God, obviously. And then um, you hear, okay, you hear from God. How so? You hear what God speaks. You you, you hear the, the like God speaks to us through the word. The Second Timothy three verse sixteen to seventeen says, all Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training into righteousness. Um, that the man of God may be competent and equipped for every good work. So it's God speaking to you through the word of scripture. It's him speaking to you so that he can teach you, correct you, and show you the right way. So you literally hear from God. You, each and every situation that you are facing, when you read the Bible, God speaks to you through the Bible, through through the word. You, you don't, you, I don't even know how you think, like, the, it's God speak. The Bible is God speaking to you. It's it's literally God speaking to you. You know, it's God speaking and communicating with you. Yeah, and each and every scripture of the Bible, each and every verse, it has a certain revelation. It has a certain message from God. And then um, you also receive authority. To, you you realize the authority that you have through Christ. You realize that um, Jesus Christ has overcome the world and trampled over everything, So, which means that the power of the Holy Spirit is in you. The very same power that raised Jesus from the dead is in you. So when you are sick, you won't have to take a taxi, an Uber, or drive to your pastor's house for them to lay hands on you and pray for you. But you actually realize that you can pray for yourself and receive healing because the Bible does say that you have that power in you. But you won't realize that until you read the Bible. You know, when you are poor, you when you don't have money, you won't go and do things that have nothing to do with you. But you will actually follow the principles of finance through the word by reading the, the, the word of the Lord and realize how you can tap into um, releasing your finances or whatever it is that you want, but through the Bible. And then um, you... Oh, the Bible is also a weapon. The word of the Lord is a weapon. When you read the book of Ephesians um, from verse 10, well, Ephesians 6 verse 10 to verse 20 it says that um, it says the word of the spirit which oh, it says the sword of the spirit which is the word of God you fight powers and principalities demons and all these things in the spirits through the word of the Lord you fight yourself through the word of the Lord because um, sometimes the flesh fights the spirit man inside of us so the only way we can conquer that is through the bible um you are able to 
to fight okay the bible um, yeah so also the bible helps you to to be able to just disregard the the doctrines that are out there like right now everyone is a prophet everyone is a man of god everyone hears from god everyone has a certain message which is what the Bible actually said that in the last days there will be so much information, there will be so much knowledge in a way you see people will say this, will say that, will say that. Some of them don't even come from God. They actually people from the kingdom of the darkness, but they're disguising themselves as the people of God just to remove us from the word of God. But when you read the Bible, you get to realize the truth. Pastor Priscilla, I think it's Priscilla Sheer or Sheer, I don't know how to pronounce her her saying, but she is the very same lady who is on um, war room. She said that we should make it our responsibility to read the word of the Lord, to to read and to understand our Father. Because the only way we can do that is by reading the Bible, is by spending time with things, by worshiping each and every day, and having and and, and praying and, and having to hear from Him, having to realize who we are. Because when we do that, when we understand Him, when we understand His character, when we understand His word. We are able to identify the enemy when he comes because the Bible says that the enemy comes disguising himself like disguising himself like um like like an angel of light. So when you read the Bible and fe- and feed on the word of the Lord, when the enemy comes and pretends like he is God and, and he whispers things in your ear, like we should do this, my child, you can just even say that that is not my father, my father doesn't work like that, and you go into the Bible and you you, you, you read the Bible. The only way you can be able to survive in this world that we are living in now is through reading the Bible and understanding the character of God and who you are in God. It's very important that you read the Bible. Um, and let me just quickly read this. Um, before I read the Bible, and these have been very, 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 very helpful to me. It's that, so, before I read the Bible, I pray and I invite the Holy Spirit in the book of Revelations, Jesus Christ says, I come and knock, and whoever opens for me, I will come in and share a meal with them. Which means that you actually ask God to come and join you for the meal, which is this. Um, in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel says that he was fed the scroll. He opened his mouth and was fed the scroll, which is this. And it tasted as sweet as, sweet as honey. You see, it's a meal. So... Um, we, I pray and it invites God that I'm about to read the word. I invite you to come in to be with me so that you can help me to understand the scripture. Yes, so that, yes, to be with me. And then the other thing is I ask the Holy Spirit to help me to discern the scriptures. Again, I did say that each and every verse has a certain message. Each and every scripture has a certain message. And the Bible is, is the word of the Lord is a treasure, basically. So if you just read it for the sake of reading it, you will either fall asleep, you will either not understand what it says, or you will just get confused. But when you invite the Holy Spirit, you will be able to understand it. So I invite him. I ask Jesus to help me to understand the scriptures because I really do need to understand the scriptures. This is this this Bible is I could say it's a supernatural word from God because you can read a certain scripture today and it will speak to you in this way and the following day it will have a different message. So it's really supernatural. So for that certain day, I have to ask God to help me to understand the scriptures. And then another thing, I never disregard the scriptures. I don't just read the whole chapter and try to understand what the chapter says. Each and every verse, I try to understand what it says and what's the message behind it. Um, and also, I don't just read the Bible and then go and ask someone else to explain it for me. People have different um, explanations based on what God told them. That's why it's very important that you invite the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will be able to tell you what it means at that specific time. Another thing that I do is, or after reading the Bible, and maybe I could not understand it, or maybe I read the Bible and I read a certain verse and I don't understand that verse, I ask God what the, the verse actually says. Like, during my reading of the Bible, I would just be like, um, God, I don't understand what this means. Please tell me. Why? I invited him, remember, before I, I read the Bible, I invited him. And then, um, Another thing, I use different versions of the Bibles. I have two Bibles currently, which is, I have three Bibles currently, one which is a Zulu Bible and two which are English Bibles. The other one, this one um, is a modern English version. And this one is, I think you can see that it's different. It's, it's a creative Bible. I bought it at Cool Books. Um, it's a journaling Bible. Um, you can actually journal through the scriptures. 
you can actually journal. It gives like a space where you can journal. It's a journaling Bible. And then um, I also have the New International Version. And then on my phone, I have the Good News Version and I have the Amplified Version. That way, if I don't understand the same scripture, I can just go and also read it on these different versions and ask God what it means. So what I can tell you is that you can never understand the Bible and you can never find the treasures that are in the Bible if you don't invite the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was sent so that he can be able to help us and to teach us. He is the one who helps us to understand, like we literally just understand him, understand God. So um, I really hope this helps and if you have any question, you can comment down below or you can um, follow me on my Instagram and DM me. Please like, share and subscribe and um, also click that notification bell so that you can get a notification each and every time I post a video. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you so much. Bye.